Welcome to Christ Center Gamer's latest unboxing. Now this is the J-Labs Work Buds. So I don't know if you can tell here, but their claim to fame is the detachable boom mic. Most Bluetooth earbuds, oh and they are Bluetooth, uh, most Bluetooth earbuds have microphones embedded in the bud and they do a decent job usually, I mean if they're well made, of picking up your voice along with other ambient noises. But these with a boom mic might be better for calls. We'll find out. So as I already showed you the front, I guess a few things to note um, on that front there is it says noise canceling microphone. So that seems to be what they're focusing on with this uh, product. Uh, the Bluetooth multipoint, which I'm not sure if that's something I would ever use or not. It really depends on how they do it. And 55 plus hours of playtime. Um, it's not as, I mean, it basically means the case has battery. That's what it means. So a couple relevant points in, uh, on the back here. You can see, take a look at the back picture. Okay. Uh, it's got uh, 10 hours per sync per charge for earbud. That's pretty good. On um, the 55 hours total, so you can charge it inside the case. Uh, noise canceling detachable boom mic fits either earbud, so it can go on left or right. Uh, USB-C charging dock. Um, Connects to multiple devices, but if you look at this side, it suggests it might only be one earbud per device, which is not really that useful to me. Um, I've had earbuds where, it, you know, they can both be paired to two different things. That's cool. But having it be um, one earbud per device, eh, I don't know. But we'll see. It says here it can customize your sound via the JLab app, which is cool. Sometimes the apps are really nice. Uh, it, sh it points out uh, the dock itself, the boom mic that fits in the case, which is nice. Uh, various cushion fins, they call them, and ear gel tips, small, medium, large. That's in the lower this side right here. And the bottom just points out the specs. So a few relevant specifications to note is the uh, battery life that I already mentioned, the six millimeter speaker drivers, uh, six hours plus talking time, and, four, and 10 hours of listening time, uh, 30 foot range for Bluetooth 5.3, and 45 plus hours in the charging case. All right, I guess it's time to crack this guy open. Let's see what we got. Okay, let's see if my knife skills have gotten any better lately. All right, just got a little cut line, so let's try doing that. And let's see if I actually succeeded. Looks like I succeeded, but hmm. Does this just pop out like that? Oh, yep, that's what it is. Okay, so here we go. We've got the box right there, just a shell. And then we've got, oh yeah, it's got a little hashtag on top, your kind of tech. And we've got the little JLab logo and the flap, and we're just gonna open the flap. Okay, that's kind of cool looking. I like the I like the packaging. So we've got uh, the earbuds. It's right there. We'll look at that in a moment. <laughs> we've got the way it's in the <laughs> was in the box. Um, the quick start guide appears to be right here, kind of folded. I don't know how to get this guy out. Um, or if to get this guy out. Okay, it kind of slides out like that. Okay, here's the quick start guide. And what appears, I'm guessing, is a warranty, FCC notification, stuff like that. And then there's something over here. I'm guessing it's a cable of some kind. It's like, it says accessories. But anyway, here's the front of, the, of that. Um, there's a newer version of lab, uh, manual on the QR code. Tells you how to pair them. Um, some settings. Any which way, get charged, multi-point, connect two devices simultaneously. Okay. This could be the good kind actually of multi-point. We are gonna get to find out at some point, but I don't know if I'll be able to do it in this video. But yeah, here's the quick start guide. Okay. All right. 
And then here's some more information on the back, including EQ modes and stuff like that. So there you go. All right. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. So let's see what's in this little flap here, how to get it out. I'm not sure. Okay. So it looks like it just comes out like this. The box. Open the accessories flap right here. Oh, I broke it. Okay. And... Oh, we got stuff falling everywhere. Okay. So this is interesting. Okay. So we've got... There's no little holder for them. It's just this little plastic or paper, paper box. So we've got different ear tips. Okay. Um, I see two different sizes. So there must be a third size on the earbuds. So we've got those there. Like that and then we've got these little comfy things I don't know how that works and probably very important is our friend user-friendly microphone so I'll show you that this has a very small not technically proprietary but all practical purposes proprietary connector uh, let's see if I get this thing to focus on it there you go and then here's the other side so boom mic I'm guessing the microphone is on the very tip based on how this looks. All right, so let's see what's inside this um, guy here. There was a little something stuck to the bottom. All right, so here's what the bottom looks like. Top of the JLab logo, okay. And let's just go ahead and open this. Okay, so this is the top, this little part with the pad. Um, here's some FCC information on the inside. Here is the earbuds themselves, okay. And it looks like we can attach our friendly little, I guess I probably prefer the left, uh, friendly little microphone to this. Okay, and then this just wraps around like so. And now you can see that it's in there. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. It's made this difficult on myself. But yeah, here's the right, and it's got little battery protecting tabs. So you have to take these off. I'm going to grab the other one first before we get too much farther. Oh, yeah, I forgot to point out. Here's the USB-C port on the bottom of this. Okay. And uh, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. This is the left one right here. So I took the tab off one side, took the tab off of the other side. So you see it just comes right off. I'm going to go ahead and stick this in here. So I'm assuming it probably needs to be woken up potentially. It's, it does kind of magnetically pull it in there. Okay, so now we've got a blue light on the earbuds. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, probably not, but there's a blue light in there. I'm going to go ahead and see if my phone can see it. If I don't get lucky, I don't get lucky. But hopefully, I'll get this guy to show up. If I can get these things out. It's a little challenging, actually, getting these guys out. But they mentioned something about you know, a button of some kind. Is this touch sensitive? Is that how it works? Let me rescan. Uh, there it is. J Labs. Oh, J. Whoop, wrong one. I got the BLE one on accident. I wanted the WorkBuds non BLE because it shows up as two devices. That's pretty common. But you don't want to pair with the BLE version. You want to pair with the regular one. Let me go ahead and put these in my ear, though. This is left. Okay, and then this is right. Okay, so that's kind of how they fit in the ear, like that. Okay. And i got to get the silly thing to stop. Um, all right, there. Come on. Pair. Okay. That looks like it's on my phone now. I hear it says... Battery full, Bluetooth connected. I actually heard a prompt. All right, so this is where the mic is. That's interesting. That is so weird. I'm not going to be able to test the mic on this video, but um, all right. Save your tier device. Okay, sure, I guess. All right, so I'm going to launch the JLab, JLab app and see if it quickly and easily. So that's. Oh, all right, it actually does see it. Uh, well, it says connect new device. Uh, and then earbuds. JLab work buds. Only this. Don't ask for the location. I hate it when that happens. Uh, only this time for now. Uh, 
I hate it. It requires GPS. Other companies have figured out how not to require GPS. <sighs> I wish they would uh, join the join the crowd here. All right. Okay. So, all right. There it is. So we've got some settings here. Um, let's see if I can get the screen. Oh, what's this? Firmware update. Oh. Okay. Well, I want to skip that right now because I've I don't try to do that in the video once and it uh, took a while, but. It shows uh, battery level. I don't know if I get this thing to focus. There you go. Um, it's got it's got transparency mode for be aware. So now I hear. Yep, I hear outside well, rather than noise isolation. Uh, and then it's got clear voice, which is loud background, medium background, and quiet background for noise canceling for the microphone. All right. Uh, and then it's got equalizer modes. JLab signature is kind of a V shape, uh, but it does have multiple settings. So I can set it to multiple settings. Uh, touch controls for, oh, okay, so it lets you do volume up and down with one tap. Uh, two taps is play pause or Siri, Google or Google. And then three is switch EQ, which is cool. Um, and then noise control. And then, uh, so this is the left and then right. And then long use, long press is music movie and next track. Interesting. All right. It's got music mood and movie mode. I'm not entirely sure what the difference is there. Safe hearing, which means I don't want safety. So that's good. All right. Um, let's see if there's any other settings. Um, okay. So it's got some settings in here that are pretty interesting. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just do some quick listening to music and see what I think of its initial default sound profile and this is where my wife usually puts on something silly and I rebel against that. I like have good music tastes. Okay. Alright. I need to go just as far as you what I had this morning. I don't even want to say to uh, you keep so far, but I gotta get some different music from this. So I Oh, it's got a, it's, it definitely has a v, v shaped uh, default profile like it tells you it does um it sounds pretty good so far not bad it's really not bad at all The one thing I wanted to check real quick is see what audio codex it supports. That's probably relevant. So let me pull that up real fast. All right, it supports SDC and AAC. So AAC is an improvement over SBC. Uh, the default 44 hertz, 16 bits. But it does support AAC, which is an improvement. So, cool. uh, the default sound profile really isn't that bad. It'll take me some time to get a good feel for how it sounds, but uh, initial impressions are good. I think it's going to take some time to really, you know, spend some time with it and get a good feel for how it sounds and all that kind of stuff and how well multipoint works and things of that nature. But uh, pretty cool. First impressions are this could be a really neat headset. So, and it seems like it's got a nice good battery life with a big case like this. So, all right, cool. Well, I hope you enjoy this unboxing video and. Uh, Look forward to my full written review. Oh yeah, I meant to show you one last thing. USB-C cable. This is a C to C cable instead of an A to C. So here's your charging cable. It's actually pretty small. So I guess that's one last little detail. All right, take care and God bless.